We begin at 6 with a possible earthquake cover-up exposed. It's a hot-button issue. No one can deny Oklahoma's new role as earthquake capital of the U.S. But at the center of the controversy is the science behind what's causing them. Tonight, questions about the pressure being put on scientists who are trying to do their job. First at 6, News Channel 4's Ed Downey is following the story. And Ed, one article is really adding a lot of fuel to what is already a fiery issue. Kevin, that's right. The article says the Oklahoma Geological Survey has failed to finish investigations into what caused the state's largest earthquakes. Why? Internal emails may have the answer. It's always remarkable to see it in black and white. Mike Sorahan with the website Energy Wire used the Open Records Act to get emails from state seismologist Austin Holland. In 2013, he was asked to meet with OU President David Bourne and Continental Resources CEO Harold Hamm. Holland emailed a coworker saying, I've been asked to have coffee with President Bourne and Harold Hamm Wednesday. The coworker replied, gosh, I guess that's better than having Kool-Aid with them. I can only imagine that it would be kind of nerve-wracking if you're a state employee to be called into a meeting with you know, the richest man in the state and the president of the university. In another email, Holland wrote, the basic gist of the meeting is that Continental does not feel induced seismicity is an issue, and they are nervous about any dialogue on the subject. Sorahan says the emails reveal political pressure put on the OGS to stay quiet about wastewater injection wells possibly causing earthquakes. They're working on the problem, um, but it's hard to tell what their official position is on the problem. If we say that it's not possible and it's later established that, well, yeah, maybe, maybe it is, then we have no credibility. Kim Hatfield is the regulatory chairman of the Oklahoma Independent Petroleum Association. He says the energy industry wants the truth as well and points to this fault line map as proof. All the red fault lines were discovered by oil and gas companies research. If there is a, uh, a connection, we can, can modify practices to be able to do this safely. In a statement, OU President David Bourne said the meeting with Harold Hamm was purely informational. Mr. Hamm is a very reputable producer and wanted to know if Mr. Holland had found any information which might be helpful to producers in adopting best practices that would help prevent any possible connection between drilling and seismic events. Holland told us he was unavailable for an interview today. Continental did not return our messages. Kevin, back to you. Ed, we'll look